We are flashing back this Friday. Following the fall of the Berlin Wall in November 1989, mm -hmm. the German Unification Treaty was signed, and that set the date October 3rd, 1990, 33 years ago this week, as the day East and West Germany were to become, again, one single united country. There it is. And, of course, WTO11's Melissa Veitch traveled to Swanton Elementary School on the day to talk to some young students as they witnessed history being made right before their eyes. There's a lot of miles between Berlin and Marianne Duvendeck's fourth grade class in Swanton, Ohio. But Germany's newfound freedom is ringing just as strong. I will remember for my whole life that this day when I was in fourth grade was when the people in Ger East Germany got to be free. As these kids watch the news reports on TV, history is alive, a teacher's best tool. I want the kids to know that they can affect history, that history is not something that happened to their parents or their grandparents or 100 years ago, but that children are involved in making history. These kids have been putting the pieces of German unification together since the beginning of the school year. They're learning some of the language. And they're learning the meaning of freedom. Well, I think it's, um, it's really exciting that they um, that the wall is down and they get to be united again because most people didn't think they get to see that. I've lived in freedom all my life, but it's probably real big to them. Like, and For now, real big means a real lot to these kids. The real impact will be when the fourth grade classes of years to come read about this day in their history books. Well, it's going to be neat because pretty soon it will be history for my kids when they're in fourth grade. Melissa Veitch, Toledo 11 News, Swanton. What a night that was. The fall of the Berlin Wall and the eventual fall of the Iron Curtain have certainly found their way into today's history books. Now, Dan, did you see the little girl at the end, a little Brittany Buckenmeyer? She's Brittany Gibbons now. And of course, she lives, still lives here in her hometown of Swatton. And of course, we asked about her children and if they knew that she got to witness history being made all those years ago. No, they have not seen that. <laughs> they haven't, but I'm going to show it to them because obviously I was profound by even a very young age. I have three kids and they're in high school now. Um, and they have had various iterations of Mrs. Duvendeck. I think the coolest part is. I actually found Mrs. Duvendeck on Facebook as an adult and reconnected with her. So I still get her as my Mrs. Duvendeck in my adult life as well. I definitely have told them before that I was on the news regarding the fall of the Berlin Wall. I don't think they believed me or that I was in any way as important at that age to be on the news about the fall of the Berlin Wall. But um, we'll be revisiting that today. <laughs> that is awesome. Now, Brittany told us, of course, still that her parents had the VHS recording naturally of the new segment in 1990 but she's obviously as she just said she hasn't watched it in years you know it's funny the uh it all began with president reagan saying mr gorbachev tear down that wall down that and wall. and down comes the wall and it triggered arab spring it triggered unfortunately tianmen square in china because the chinese felt we could be liberated too and mm -hmm. that was squashed by the government so it was uh, it was a uh, some good and bad in our history at that time and it's just interesting because I, I get excited whenever i see the years ah i was here but I have no recollection, no word, but just knowing that my mother is sitting, of course, watching with her infant, like history being made at this time, I can imagine was just interesting. And that righted a wrong because the Berlin Wall that happened in the 60s, that was so wrong. And I'm glad to see that, you know, here we are, um, I'm gonna, a, could free, you imagine a free Germany. Here yeah. now today. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Well, you know, you can find this story and other great ones on the WTOL News YouTube page. We've made it easy for you. There's a whole playlist on the WTOL 11 vault.